Chapter 28 Rural Livelihood Let's learn Neriga Village A Case Study Life of Villages in Neriga Agricultural Laborers and Farmers in India Types of Farmers The basic requirements of man are food, shelter and clothes whether he lives in a village or a city. The people living both in rural and urban areas earn livelihood to fulfill their basic requirements. The earliest occupation of man was hunting and gathering food. Occupations in today's times can be classified under three broad categories, primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary occupation. The people engaged in primary occupations include those who deal with the natural products directly such as farmers, fishermen, miners, etc. Secondary occupation. The people engaged in secondary occupations include those who deal with processing and trade of natural goods in different forms such as traders, millers, manufacturers, transporters, etc. Tertiary occupation. The people engaged in tertiary occupations include those who provide services of different kinds such as doctors, advocates, pilots, drivers, engineers, architects, accountants, clerks, etc. Neriga village a case study. Neriga is a small village near the outskirts of the city of Bangalore in Karnataka, India. The primary occupation of the residents of Neriga village is agriculture. The agricultural production includes paddy that is rice, ragi, rosa, kanakambaram and some vegetables. Sericulture is also practiced. A certain number of people in the village are taking courses in occupations such as tailoring and computing. In Neriga village, there is only one primary school. Students go to a nearby village to pursue middle and secondary education. The nearest colleges are located in the towns of Sarjapur and Varthur. For Neriga village, there is one government appointed health worker who visits the village every day. Ramalingam. I am Ramalingam. I walk in my small paddy field. I plot the soil, sow the seeds and then reap the harvest. My wife Bahula also works with me in the field. In the evening, my wife fetches water from a nearby well for the daily household chores. She returns home and washes clothes and cleans the house. We have two daughters. They study in a nearby school in the village. The school provides midday meals to the children. In the evening, our daughters also help my wife in household work. Sometimes they also work in the farm with us. There is no secondary school in our village. My children will have to go to town for higher studies. We have one cow and a few hens. They help us in earning extra livelihood. We sell the milk and eggs to nearby villages and save some money for our expenses. We buy firewood to cook food. Some rich people have gas cylinders and stove to cook food. Most of the people in our village are engaged in agriculture. We do not have hospitals in our village and hence we go to the town of Varthur for medical care. Medical camps are organized in our village by the government every three months. A doctor visits the village and performs some regular checkups. These checkups include blood sugar test, eye checkups and blood pressure checks. InfoHive Karnataka ranks 11th in overall milk production in the country, though the state is the second largest milk producer in the cooperative sector after Gujarat. Amalesh Amalesh is another farmer who lives in the same village Neriga. He doesn't own any land and therefore works in the farm of Kalinga. He owns two cows for which he has taken loan from Shankar. Since income obtained from working at the farm is not sufficient to meet his family expenses, 
he sells milk and milk products to the villagers. His wife Sumati milks the cows and makes curd, ghee, khoya and butter from it. The district administration has decided to provide additional income to the poor families. Several activities like dairy farming, poultry, wormy composting, goat rearing and sericulture are being promoted. Many families are earning livelihood by engaging in dairy farming. Amlesh has motivated other fellow farmers to take up dairy farming. He is planning to purchase some more cows and open a dairy farm. He has applied for a loan from a government bank for this purpose. Brent Eckler, what are the schemes introduced by the government for the benefit of the farmers? Keshav Nathan. Keshav Nathan is a farmer who owns a grocery shop and also has a large rice field. Many traders and mill owners come to him to buy rice. He has employed many small farmers to work in his field on daily wages. He sells the rice to mill owners at a reasonable rate and earns sufficient money for his family's needs. He buys the goods from the main wholesale market and sells them to the villagers at a profit. His wife and sisters go to a nearby village to learn tailoring and basic computing. Naiga Patu Naiga Patu earns his livelihood by fishing. Most of the other fishermen in the area make their own nets and have their own boats. The fish caught by the fishermen are bought and sold in the fish market. The fishermen sell fish to wholesalers when fish is caught in abundance. Otherwise, the women folk in the household take the responsibility of selling fish in the local markets. It is tough time for Naigapattu in the monsoon months as it is breeding time for the fish. Since they do not go fishing in this period, they do some other work for an earning. Difficulties faced by farmers India is an agricultural country and two-thirds of its population is engaged in agriculture. Many of the farmers are solely dependent on the rainfall for irrigating their crops. Climate fluctuation and lack of rainfall severely affect agricultural production. Sometimes poor quality of seeds, pest attack and nutrient deficient soil are also responsible for inadequate agricultural production. This forces the farmer to live in poverty and borrow money for marriages or other occasions. Sometimes they even mortgage their lands and commit suicide when unable to repay the loan. Government has introduced many plans and schemes in order to improve the condition of farmers in India. And for high. Due to poverty and unemployment, many villages migrate to towns and cities in search of jobs and better living conditions. This has put undue pressure on the cities and has drastically increased urban populations. Agricultural laborers and farmers in India. Neriga is a small village and most people are agricultural laborers. Ramalingam had a small piece of land and cultivated crops in his farm but Amalesh did not have his own land and worked in somebody else's farm. Amalesh therefore looked for other means to earn a decent earning for his family. Naiga Patu and Kesho Nathan are some other who live in Nariga village. They are somewhat better off than Ramalingam and Amalesh. Big farmers sell their harvest to traders in cities and get a good income. Apart from agriculture, people are also involved in other business such as dairy farming, poultry farming and fishing. Types of Farmers we can find three main types of agricultural classes in India. They are the landowners, the tenants and the laborers. Another class is non-agriculturalists who are not involved in agricultural practices but are involved in the trading of agricultural produce. The harvest produced is sold to mandis through these private intermediaries. The landlords or the maliks who own large acres of land 
may live in village itself or reside in cities. They get their income or share from the agricultural produce by either employing laborers themselves or through a manager. A farmer who owns a small piece of land is a kisan. They work hard in their farms and their families also work at the farms. Majdoors are the landless workers who works in other people's farms for a living. Recap. Occupations in today's time can be classified under three broad categories, primary, secondary and tertiary. Nariga village is a small village near the outskirts of the city of Bangalore in Karnataka, India. The primary occupation of the residents of Nariga village is agriculture. Government has introduced many plans and schemes in order to improve the condition of farmers in India. Apart from farming, people in villages are also engaged in poultry farming, fishing, dairy farming and sericulture. Life skills Manu, finish your food. Don't waste it. The farmers work so hard to raise the crops. They walk from morning till evening in their fields. I'm sorry mother, but I can't eat anymore. I am full. Dear, there are many people who don't even get two meals a day. You should be thankful for the food you get to eat. You must take small portions at first. You can always take more later. Fine mother, I will finish my food.